Hello, hello and welcome to Introduction to Algorithms. In this course, we will learn all the basics and foundations, examples and applications of algorithms. This is an introductory course, so I'm going to put particular emphasis on motivating the perspective of algorithms. As a matter of fact, algorithms by far exceed the realm of uh, simple computer science. For example, suppose you want to score a good job, a good position, and to this end, you subdivide your device and subdivide a strategy <clears throat> with single steps, such as first go to elementary school, graduate from elementary school, graduate from middle school, graduate from high school, enter suitable university, graduate with a bachelor and with a master degree. These are all single operations in a sense of a, which in combination yield your st uh, personal strategy in order to find a good position. These operations in turn can be decomposed into sub-operations. For example, graduating from middle school might uh, consist of graduating from first uh, year middle school to second year, from second to third year, and then proceeding to high school. And uh, graduating or passing one year of middle school in turn can be decomposed into like maybe daily operations like uh, getting up in the morning, <clears throat> taking the bus to school, entering school, and at the end of the <clears throat> day, returning home. So every operation of your personal algorithm, your strategy of um, towards getting the overall specification of <clears throat> getting a suitable job, um, these operations in turn decompose into sub-operations and the sub-operations decompose into sub-sub-operations. But if you only look at the small scale picture of uh, in the morning getting up and <clears throat> following uh, what are you going to, to do this morning, if you for forget, if you lose sight of the overall, the big picture, then you may never succeed in graduating from university. So the emphasis here is that uh, there are various levels of abstraction uh, behind um, your strategy. There's a big picture, then there's a medium scale picture and a small scale picture. And in each picture, <clears throat> you are using certain basic operations like graduating from middle school and the base operation in turn decomposes into basic sub operations um, like uh, taking the bus, maybe even uh, finer, uh, proceeding from bus stop to bus stop. And uh, the same uh, actually, for example, applies to maybe let's consider uh, chess, maybe your goal is to uh, win against your opponent in a game of chess. And uh, also this big picture decomposes into you designing, devising a sequence of basic small operations like <clears throat> moving a rook according to the rules of chess, moving uh, <clears throat> a palm. Um, so also here, the it's a sequence of basic operations where specified fully clear, uh, unambiguous uh, meaning and uh, choice. What can a rook do? What can a pawn do? That uh, in combination uh, is supposed to yield a large um, goal, maybe like uh, uh, succeeding, winning in chess against your opponent. And the same uh, applies to algorithms. Algorithm design is a way of looking at the big picture of forgetting uh, deliberately all the details uh, of your computer, that it is uh, uh, composed of transistors, which are in turn combined to integrated circuits, to CPU and so on. And looking at the big picture <clears throat> where you can get an 
uh, large overview and uh, thus um, maybe to be able to devise a uh, efficient so algorithmic solution, computational solution to a certain big problem by decomposing it into a sequence of small operations. And what these small operations are, um, that's uh, something to be uh, considered in advance. And I will illustrate that with uh, examples. So um, that's a general uh, perspective of this course. And uh, I'd now like to start uh, showing you the slides. And this course is uh, heavily based on the famous textbook, Introduction to Algorithm from the MIT. There are various um, editions of this book. It doesn't really matter which edition you use. I rec highly recommend uh, using this book <clears throat> to obtain a different perspective on the topics presented in this course. In this course, we uh, make a choice from the many aspects um, conveyed in this uh, book. Uh, roughly one third of the book, the riddle section, if you like. Um, but we'll <clears throat> also um, deliberately do not follow the book in a strict sense, but the purpose is to provide you with a different view on algorithms uh, on the same subject as in the book. So that in the end, maybe it's, it's maybe comparable to, you know, looking at a uh, object with both eyes, you get a much better uh, uh, impression, for example, like depth perception than only using one eye or the other eye. So consider this textbook as one eye and the present uh, <clears throat> lecture uh, as uh, the other eye. And in combination, you will really gain an understanding of algorithms. Also relevant still is the famous uh, book series by Donald Knuth, The Art of Computer Programming, which also heavily influences the present uh, course. Also recommend Sipser's introduction to the theory of computation and Peter Brass's uh, uh, book on data structures. So we're going to start uh, motivating and introducing the concepts underlying algorithms and we'll um, consider example problems and example algorithms for the range of searching following Donald Knuth's book series. Similarly, uh, algorithms and uh, problems revolving around the area of um, uh, sorting. And I deliberately included a chapter on data, which in my opinion is a heavily neglected uh, subject in traditional algorithms courses. You all know <clears throat> data and data structures and data types, but what are they really mathematically is an <clears throat> interesting uh, question that uh, touches and uh, revolves to logic, model theory. Then we talk about example problems um, arising in graph theory, uh, computational problems, but also uh, computational solutions, namely data structures that involve graphs. So there are two perspectives, both as a source of problems and a source of algorithmic solutions in graphs. Then we talk about strings, strings on the, again on the one hand as a data type for solving computational problems, but also on the other hand, a, a source of a variety of computational problems with algorithmic solutions. And we close with a, a chapter about algorithmic uh, design paradigms in general, uh, universal principles of how to design hopefully op uh, as efficient uh, algorithms um, using various uh, generic methods. And that uh, leads, for example, to famous uh, topics in, in model theory, such as uh, meta theorems in uh, algorithm design. So that is going to be the uh, overview of this course. And uh, the purpose of this course is on the pedagogical perspective is to provide you with an education as opposed to a collection of facts. You can easily look up facts. Every memory stick is able to <clears throat> memorize a vast number of facts like gigabytes. 
but uh, you are not a memory stick, fun, fortunately. Um, <clears throat> you um, can do much better than just memorizing. And uh, this is reflected in pedagogy theory by Bloom's taxonomy of cognitive learning, where knowledge is only the foundation. Well, to be fair, it's the largest uh, part of this uh, hierarchy. Uh, the, the, basis, the foundation, but only the foundation. <clears throat> uh, and this is the part that can also be kind of uh, <clears throat> um, provided by any memory stick. So in this course, we deliberately aim for you to reach higher levels of uh, uh, um, cognitive learning, comprehension, application, analysis. Analysis here means something different from algorithm analysis, which is also, of course, going to be a huge topic in this course. But here it means the analysis from the uh, <clears throat> uh, pedagogical perspective, synthesis, and evaluation. So we focus on comprehension, application, and analysis, and take for granted your ability to amass and memorize uh, facts and knowledge, or they simply even look up knowledge. Uh, after all, in the modern age, the knowledge is at the tip of your uh, fingers uh, connected, but uh, uh, understanding, comprehension, and application is really something that uh, uh, can only be achieved using training. And this is what I want uh, to convey in this course, education. Uh, beyond the collect, knowing the collection of facts. So that uh, sums, uh, summarizes the introduction. Um, and now we proceed to uh, chapter one, uh, syllabus uh, computational problems and their algorithmic solutions.